Hey guys, Asabuxrat here, bringing you the tips for Mars's map, Campus no Mortis. This map, while they say it's their simple map, I find it a little bit more challenging. Uh, this definitely feels more like the advanced map compared to Venus. But this is how I normally run it, um, and hopefully it running it this way, you might get your racing speed times down roughly to about where I got mine to. So, start off starting grid uh, at the front, so that's always nice. Now, I usually just angle my sparrow straight to the first one. Uh, you don't have to, but just make things easier. With the pitch control helmet pointing downwards here, we go across to this one. Now, when we get to the top of the hill, there's the little advanced thing that I'll do. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to hit the strafe here as we go around the corner. Hit it again so we can line up with the actual gate itself. And then when we go through the gate, hit it once more to bring us in line with the actual track itself and moving forward into the next gate. Um, from here on, people like to go up for their little shortcut. Honestly, do not do that. It just slows you down from what I've seen. So when you get to this gate, immediately hit the right strafe and it brings you straight past someone who went through the shortcut. Now, do as many tricks as you can here. Build up as much strafe charge as possible. If you have to use a strafe, you know, do it. But keep trying to do tricks, get the strafe up. Now here we go for this part. Okay, so we're going to use our first strafe here. Following the jagged rock round, we're going to hit the next strafe here. This mine will never get up in time, so it won't affect you. Strafe again here, and we'll use one last strafe to straighten up uh, going into these next two gates. You can do this in three strafes, but uh, it's a lot faster to do it with four, so you need to get as much strafe energy as possible. Now with the pitch control pointing down, we're just going to do a wee trick here and go through this gate. Now I'm going to hit a strafe right here, so I follow this white line across the floor. And then when I go through this gate, I'll hit another strafe, and that will propel me straight down here. And when I get to the next gate, I will head straight to the jump pad. I'll try to straighten up as I go through the jump pad so that nothing fishy happens. When I go through the jump pad, I'll hold back on the left stick so I stay in the air. And then when I'm over the land, I'll push the stick forward and we'll continue on towards the fans. Now try to watch the leading edge of the fan as it crosses your path. Don't be afraid to use a strafe to get around it if you have to. But if you can get through the first one generally alright, usually the fans are in sync in a way that you can just go straight on forward. Sometimes they're a bit laggy and they do cut across your path and go into awkward directions but there's not much we can do about that. Now when we get to this corner I'm going to hit a left strafe and that'll propel me towards this gate and then I'm just going to go straight through the next two gates but when I get to the straight instead of going left and right which can slow you down a bit I'm just going to hit the left strafe button and then when I get to the next gate I'll hit the right strafe button and then I'll just go straight ahead to the lap and that's basically it, that's how we run Mars. So from here on out, it's just basically repetition of everything that happened in the first lap. And the only thing really I'm going to say is that the best way to get the fastest time is to not play against the Taken. The Taken on this one have a t tortured Centurion. It likes to spawn just on the straight towards the lap timer. And he can fire Axion darts that can propel you sideways, backwards, forwards. I've won races because he's done that, and I've lost races because he's done that. It's hit or miss. Sometimes you can get past him as he throws it. Sometimes it never actually hits you. You just have to roll with it, unfortunately. Um, unlike Venus, where the Taken are actually a godsend on Mars, they can be a massive pain in the backside, even worse than the Hydras. So just watch out for him, and hopefully you'll see your lap times decreasing, just like I've done with mine. So I'll let the rest of this clip play out. Have fun on SRL, guys, because I definitely am. One more left. Keep going.
our thanks everyone for their participation, but we have our winner.